What's up, Saiyan Army? Heading to therapy now for my arm. A lot of you guys been asking about updates on everything and what my game plan is moving forward. So today we're gonna talk about that, but I'll see you guys at therapy. Okay, you're gonna hold this dowel. Okay. Okay. So you can start with just regular bicep, that we're starting easy. Like reverse curls like that? Yeah, reverse, and then we'll have regular curls. So you want to feel the stretch. So okay, that, stretch arm, that arm should be helping this arm kind of to pull. Oh, so yeah. stretch at the top? Yeah, at the top. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, so you feel that stretch while keeping yeah. your arm down. Yeah, so you, okay. you're doing good. And come back down and go to feel that stretch and hold that stretch. I don't know, I think it's just getting better as it loosens up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The more reps you do. Yeah. And then do it like this. I'll try some extension. Yeah. Try to get straight good. Yeah, this feels just that like what I was doing tricep extensions before. Mm -hmm. Oh my, I'm feeling almost go straight. Yeah, it looks really good actually. All right, so it's currently the next day. We forgot the SD card at home and just didn't want to record everything, you know, from our phone. So right now, Chichi and I are running errands, playing some Pokemon Go. For those of you guys who wanted to add me, um, here's my little number thing. You guys can add me there when I talked about it in the other workout video. But today, I just wanted to give you guys an update on everything. Talk about my workout, diet, nutrition, my goals moving forward, and just how I'm feeling mentally, physically, and just everything. So first off, my diet. My diet right now is at uh, maintenance calories. So macros ranging around maybe 275 to 300 grams of carbs, um, anywhere from 50 to 60 grams of fat. I try to keep fats a little bit on the lower end. Protein, I'm keeping on the higher end, 170 to 200 grams a day. Obviously things change if my fats are a little bit higher, I drop my carbs. If um, protein rel relatively stays the same, but I noticed because I'm not training as long and with as much volume as before, my appetite is a lot lower. So I have to get in more meals earlier in the day because later at night, I just feel so stuffed just trying to hit my macros and yeah, just my appetite is not there like where it used to be before back when I was training, um, training over 9,000. And right now we're not going over 9,000. So yeah, also studies show that when you're injured and not training, you know, um, you want to stay at maintenance to maintain as much muscle as possible. Um, studies show that if you go in a surplus or a deficit, you're more than likely to lose more muscle than staying at maintenance. Also, don't take, take that with a grain of salt as well. Um, I would recommend anyone with injuries ranging in the moderate to severe range. So if you have to take off more than three weeks, then I would recommend going to maintenance calories. If your injury is gonna take, you know, two weeks or less to recover from, or like maybe you have some tricep tendonitis or you tweaked your shoulder and you have to rest from the gym for like a week, I wouldn't worry too much about it. You know, just go on with your macros. If you're cutting, continue your deficit. If you're bulking, continue your surplus. It's not gonna make that big a deal. So don't like go overboard with it if you feel like you might have tweaked something, okay? This is more for injuries that are taking three weeks or longer to recover from and in that range where you're more than likely gonna lose muscle, which I definitely did as you can see from the thumbnail picture. So right now my workouts are a lot at the Hyperbark Time Chamber at home, just hitting a lot of single arm movements as you guys saw from my training video with Bryce. Lots of incline dumbbell bench press, single arm, you know, ladder raises, anything I can do and just trying to maintain as much muscle as possible. I'm not training with as much volume as before or with as much weight as before. So, you know, my right side's gonna atrophy a little bit regardless, but I'm just doing my best to maintain it as much as possible. Now, as far as supplementation, I'm taking vitamin C twice a day. Um, there's a lot of studies showing that it helps you, you know, just heal fast and recover from surgery. So right now I'm supplementing that twice a day. I'm taking multivitamins, my HP has multivitamins every day. I am getting in more fruits and vegetables daily. I'm eating a acai bowl or a smoothie once a day. Taking omega-3s twice a day as well. Taking BCAs once a day, usually with my when I do my workout. And also protein. I'm taking at least 50 to 75 grams of the blessed chocolate coconut whey protein which is delicious and you guys can check out in the link down below also with training i've been doing my physical therapy i just got a whole new set of movements just to help 
you know, get my range of motion, my mobility back. Something I have been doing even prior to surgery, back when I had my heavy ass cast on, was I would do like lateral raises with my cast. And yes, as stupid as that sounds, um, it made my arm feel better. Just getting blood into the injured area just makes it feel a lot better. Um, I kind of think of it like active recovery, you know, like when your legs are sore and you jump on the treadmill for like five to ten minutes um, and blood gets blood back into them, gets them nice and warm and you know, it kind of, it just feels better. It feels like it's recovering faster. So what I'm doing now is typically I'll get a light plate. So I started with a two and a half pound plate and I would hold it here and do ladder raises like that. Then I would work my way up to a five pound plate and then a ten pound plate. And right now I'm currently doing about two to three sets of 20 with the 10 pound plate like that. As silly as that sounds, I really feel like it helps the atrophy in my shoulder. And on top of that, doing a lot of rotator cuff exercises with the cast on and just, it just really like kind of messes with your shoulder just having it on 24 seven. So I'm doing a lot of um, rotator cuff movements just to help strengthen back um, my shoulder again. All right, so moment of truth, let's show you guys the Yamcha arm. So basically they have me wearing this brace. Um, they want me to wear it whenever I go out, but they said it's okay to take it off when I'm at home and just let my arm naturally stretch. Right now, um, I still can't fully um, lay out my arm straight. It's still really tight. It's a really just a weird feeling. Obviously a ton of atrophy, shoulder, shrank, triceps shrank probably like the most. Um, it's actually a little, I have a little doms today which I'm a little excited about because I did a, um, she get, one of the exercises that the therapist has me doing is these tricep kickbacks, these bodyweight tricep kickbacks and yeah it feels good just to feel the muscle again. Um, bicep obviously shrank a little bit. Here you guys can see a comparison of both arms and how they look but to be honest my spirits are high. Yes it sucks, <laughs> yes like my arm looks horrible but I'm excited for um, just this journey. I'm excited to make progress. Every day my arm's getting just a little bit stronger. Every day I'm gaining just a little bit more of my mobility back, you know? Like before I couldn't even, like when I first got the surgery, I could like barely turn my hand and supinate. Now I can like pretty much fully supinate. Pronation, I have no problem with. Um, I watched other videos where people had pronation problems and whatever. My goal is in four weeks, um, actually in two more weeks, so four weeks post-surgery, to be able to start doing some band work and to get, regain full mobility in my arm. And in six weeks, I wanna start hitting the weights again. Um, I watched a lot of videos, a lot of people going through surgery, a lot of athletes and stuff. Um, one of the reasons I got the cast off so soon was I watched a Branshaw, super old Branshaw video. And he said that as soon as you know you feel comfortable, you should probably try to get that cast off as soon as possible to minimize the atrophy. And I really think that helped because the cast was the worst. It was itchy, I was sweating a lot in it. And it, yeah, it would just, hurts your shoulder just sleeping and everything oh my god it was wrecking my rotator cuff so i got it off within i believe eight days so like a little over a week after surgery also one thing you can't rush is the recovery time where it takes the tendon and the bone to like kind of fuse together so i think the time around that is about six weeks for it to like fuse like comfortably um that's the worst thing that can happen to me right now is re-injury and that's something I want to stay as far away from as possible but I want to push myself as much as possible at the same time. Um, so yeah, that's where we currently are at now. It's a crappy situation. I was watching last night a bunch of my old, a bunch of last year's New York Comic Con videos and yeah, it just motivated me a lot. Like. We go there for work, but it was just so much fun, you know, doing doing it last year and the video was so much fun. If you guys haven't watched last year's New York Comic Con video, go ahead and check it out. But yeah, that's my main goal is just to get back in shape and part do New York Comic Con this year in October. You know, I want to be comfortable with my physique. No, both arms don't have to be exactly symmetrical, but I just want to be able to look good, feel good. And yeah, that's it. So right now, that's where my eyes, my sight is at. I can finally see the light coming through the tunnel. I know my last video was a little dark, but I can see the light, you know, and the light is New York Comic Con. The light is four weeks, you know, gaining, regaining full mobility, and it just keeps getting brighter and brighter. So understand guys, no matter what you guys are going through, just keep 
keep pushing through. I know this isn't the worst thing in the world, you know. Um, I could have lost my arm. I could have been out for good. But I'm just glad that I'm okay. I'm recovering. And, you know, we're just going to keep ascending. As saying, like I always say, you know, no matter how many times you get knocked down, get back up and come back stronger. I really, really appreciate all you guys' support, all the comments on the video. Like, one guy commented that I really, really liked was, hey, you're going to get to experience new beginnings for the first time in, like, 15 years. And I just really, really liked that. That was such a positive way to look at it. And it kind of feels like I sort of am even though I'm not lifting just experiencing a lot of progress in your fitness you know lifting for 15 years the progress is really minimal minimal as you guys continue your fitness journeys and get deeper and deeper into it you know you'll see less and less progress but you know it's all good we're gonna keep on ascending keep on grinding and yeah thanks for watching see you guys in the next video much of strength and honor aloha